everyone. My name is Maria, and I'm here at the Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm by myself in a locked room at Round Prairie Branch, so I can take my mask off. But otherwise, I need to wear my mask to keep myself and others safe during this pandemic. So welcome to Draw and Tell Storytime. My name's Maria again, and I'm excited to be here again uh, today with all of you. It has been a little while since I have done a story time, so I am very excited. Um, so I have a draw and tell story, but before we begin, I'm going to acknowledge that we're on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis, and that we're all treaty people here in Canada. Um, why don't we start with the hello song? You all know the hello song, right? So this is the sign for hello. This is the sign for friends. This is say, this is time, and then we just go hello again. So, hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello, hello, <laughs> welcome. So, I have a story today. And this is a story about Anansi the spider. Now he's a trickster, and there are lots of tricksters in, um, in stories from many different nationalities across the world. So Anansi is a trickster from uh, West African, African, and Caribbean folklore. And I got this story from A Treasury of Trickster Tales by Valerie Marsh. And I turned it into a draw and tell. So here we go, we're gonna get started. So one day, Anansi was walking through the forest, do 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 do, and he came across a friend of his. His friend was sitting there in front of a big pot, stirring it. What do you have there, said Anansi. What are you making? And his friend looked at him and said, I am making soup for my lunch. Mmm, I love soup, don't you? Yummy. Um, speaking of which, though, could you pass me those coconuts behind you? Those will taste excellent in my soup. So Anansi passed him, passed them, the coconuts. And you know what, actually, while you're over there, could you also pass me those bananas? Those will be delicious in my soup. So Anansi passed his friend the bananas. After some time had passed, Anansi said, my friend, it will be some time before our soup, before our soup cools enough to be ready to eat. Why don't we go down to the water and go swimming while we wait for the soup to cool down? Our soup, said Anansi's friend. It is my soup and I do not swim. I am not going down to the water with you. Oh, excuse me, I am so sorry, said Anansi. Of course it is your soup. I still think that you should come down to the water with me and I will teach you how to swim. His friend thought about this and well, okay, it was a hot day, so they decided to go down to the, to the water together. And they walked down a long path and then they got to a bunch of tall trees and so they had to go around the tall trees. And then they got to some tall grass. And they had to go around the tall grass. And then they found the path again. And they went down. And it took them straight to the pool of water. Swimming is very easy, said Anansi. All you have to do 
is close your eyes and count to five, jump in, and the water will do the rest. You'll just float and it will be fine. Oh no, said his friend. This is one of your tricks, Anansi, and I'm not falling for it. On the count of five, we'll jump in together. Okay, said Anansi. So as soon as his friend started counting and closed his eyes, one, two, Anansi bent down, picked up a big stone, the biggest one that he could find. Three, four, five, plop. Anansi threw the stone into the water right as his friend jumped in. Now, can you guess who Anansi's friend was? That's right, his friend was Tiger. So Tiger jumped in, and as soon as Tiger jumped in, Anansi ran, 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 as fast as he could, back to Tiger Soup, and he gobbled it all down. Now, a little while later, Tiger was floating in the water. Oh, Anansi, I love this. This is so nice. I love being in the water. I think I will come and, and swim in the water every time I'm waiting for my soup to cool. Anansi? Anansi! But Anansi was gone. Meanwhile, Anansi was hiding in the forest. He didn't want to get caught by a tiger, obviously. And Anansi came across some monkeys. Would you like to learn a new song? Anansi asked the monkeys. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We would love to learn a new song, said the monkeys. All right, said Anansi. Here's how it goes. This afternoon for lunch, we ate the tiger soup. Ho, ho, this afternoon, we ate the tiger soup. Coconuts in the soup, we ate the tiger's lunch. Ho, ho, banana soup, we ate the tiger's lunch. Oh, and the monkeys loved the song, and they were singing, and they were dancing. And meanwhile, Tiger had walked back up to their place and looked in their bowl, and all of the soup was gone. But, ho, ho, this afternoon we ate the tiger's lunch. Did the monkeys eat tiger's lunch? Tiger was very angry when he marched right up to those monkeys. And Tiger said, I've got a song for you. This afternoon for lunch, I'll eat the monkeys up. Ho, ho, this afternoon, I'll eat the monkeys up. Quickly, the monkeys scurried up to the very top of the trees where Tiger couldn't get them. And Tiger never found out that it was actually Anansi who ate their soup. And ever since that time, monkeys have always lived in the very top of trees, and tigers have always loved swimming and trying to catch monkeys for their lunch. And that's the end of the story. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that draw and tell. And um, again, my name is Maria here on Treaty 6 Territory. Why don't we sing our goodbye song, but instead of hello, we're going to wave goodbye. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for coming.